Hi everybody, it's David from Doctors of Running, and today we have a little bit of a different episode or uh, video, shall we say. It's going to be why I was going to be running in the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite for the California International Marathon, also known as CIM. CIM is a very popular race, or at least has grown to be in the last few years. It's in Sacramento, California. The course essentially runs from Folsom. It's a point-to-point -point race that then ends at the state capital in California. Um, very gradual net downhill. I think it's about 300 feet roughly across from start to finish with some rolling hills throughout and some occasional turning, but not too, not too much turning, more, more large street left, right kind of turning. Um, why I decided to do the Puma Deviate Nitro Elite, unfortunately, I didn't actually get to see this through. So this was a race that I was training for for a while. I ended up getting COVID during the week of, so I had to pull out of the race. But I was going to run in the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite, for those that were wondering. Um, other shoes in the running were the Nike Alpha Fly Next Percent Version 2. I don't have the next one right next to me, but it was the A6 Metaspeed Edge Plus. And how I came to my decision really came down to what I wanted out of the experience of my shoe, how it would respond with the course that I'm running. When we take a look at the roads from Folsom to Sacramento, it's a lot of long country roads. And even though it's very wide and open, they do have some cambers on them. And then there's occasional drops and gains where you have a couple of steeper downs and you have a couple of short steeper ups. So you're kind of constantly in this ebb and flow of a uh, of a course. And so a lot of people are like, oh, dang, everyone told me it's downhill. No one told me there's hills in this thing. And it's like, no, there's definitely hills. It's just you have a little bit of a net down. Um, I think I made my decision mainly because another shoe that was actually in the running would be the Mizuno Rebellion Pro. So um, a lot of different things that were on the docket, but there was a couple that got X'd out rather early. And Rebellion Pro was one of them. I love the ride and transition, very fast up front. But it doesn't do well on the cambered roads for me, and I feel I have to tippy-toe the turns a little bit more. And so having, knowing that there's a couple downhills that go into turns and like sharp up, sharp down type terrain, I just didn't want to deal with the Rebellion Pro on that one. Alpha Fly Next Percent 2 would have also been in the running. Similar reasoning when I ran in the Alpha Fly version 1 last year. I just felt like I was a little bit high up. I didn't, I, my ankles were a little bit sore already, like by before mile 10 probably just from the downs and ups and I can just kind of feel the cambered road and I was almost like fighting the shoe a little bit and so I just didn't want to have that experience again I definitely felt more stable in Alpha Fly version 2 than I did in Alpha Fly 1 um, it does feel a little bit more marathon ready it doesn't feel quite as fast but it feels like it can take you the distance a little bit smoother and easier so it definitely still had some appeal but I just didn't want to quite roll the dice um, so really what it what came down to for me was the A6 Metaspeed Edge Plus and the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite. And really this could have gone either way. Uh, I enjoy both of those shoes. They both feel pretty grounded. They both have more gradual geometries. If I pull up the DV8 Nitro Elite, you have a heel bevel, you have a very, very slight toe spring, but you don't really have this exaggerated rocker design that you're seeing on a lot of these shoes. It's a much more forgiving platform, I think. Um, DV8 Nitro Elite is actually a little bit lower. It's 36 millimeters in the heel with an eight millimeter drop. So 36, 28 in the forefoot. Um, but the transitions just feel natural. I feel like I can trust them. Traction's pretty good. It was supposed to be wet and sloppy out there. It poured the day before. I think it was more misty and kind of a little bit, actually pretty good weather, I believe, um, on actual, on race day. Um, but you know, slick roads, um, I wanted to make sure I had traction on my feet so I could get that with both the edge plus and the DV8 Nitro Elite. Um, both have a pretty grounded feel. Um, I like that they both have some gradual, like just light sole flaring, um, good upper lockdown. They're both lightweight, uh, Metaspeed edge plus, I think was right around 7.4 ounces. My DV8 Nitro Elite's like 6.7 ounces. I think that's men's size nine. I think this one's actually more like 6.9 ounces, like just under that seven ounce mark in my 9.5. Um, so really like they both kind of checked the boxes I wanted and they both provided rides that I can trust. And that's really the biggest thing, rides that I can trust. I can run on cambered roads and feel fine. I can take corners, feel fine, and just know that I can trust the shoe. Um, 
going into CIM last year, I was looking at the shoe lineup that I was I had, and I was having a hard time making that decision. And Nike Alpha Fly at the time was kind of my old reliable, and so. I ended up just going with the Nike Alpha Fly just because I love the experience of the shoe. Very responsive, fun shoe, but I just don't think it was quite the right shoe for that day, at least for me at the time. And the other shoe that was in it was the Nitro Elite. The D V Nitro Elite was out last year at this time, and I remember thinking afterwards that that was probably the shoe that I should have run in. Like That was the shoe that I should have ran CIM 2021 in. And so... A little bit of a tribute to last year. Uh, I wanted to get that experience this year. And so really this could have gone either way on those two shoes. I love both of them, but I ended up going with the DV8 Nitro Elite from Puma for the California International Marathon because I can trust the experience and all of the other things that I listed before. It's a shoe that just works with my mechanics pretty well. It's light, it's nimble, it's got enough cushioning to get me 26. Is it at 40 millimeters? No, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. Um, still plenty of cushioning under that shoe. So forgiving transitions, plate's not quite as stiff either, so it's not as fast feeling of a shoe, but just a natural transitioning super shoe. So that's really what I was looking for. I wanted to have kind of a comfortable 26.2, and I wasn't really looking to necessarily feel really fast this race. I just wanted to go out and just put good control and just execute well over this stretch of the race. And so I felt like the DV8 Nitro Elite could help me do that. And so that's why I was going to run the California International Marathon in the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite. Unfortunately, it didn't get to happen. Um, we'll see if the next marathon, if I do choose the Nitro Elite or not. Um, again, it's going to come down to course variables and just what I want out of the shoe and how I'm feeling going into that day. So um, yeah, hopefully you liked the episode. If you guys want more of just kind of my reasoning behind shoes or, I mean, exercises, rehab, anything, um, just comment below and let us know if there's anything you guys are interested in about our stories and what, how we go into some, making some of the decisions that we do.